time for a moment of very special recognition now as we honour somebody who's not just a soap icon but an all-time TV great. It's the award for outstanding achievement. Here to present it is someone who's made a huge contribution to the world of soap herself as Angie Watts, the original Queen Vic landlady. Her time in Albert Square saw drink-fueled rows, illicit affairs and record Christmas viewing figures thanks to those divorce papers. Please welcome the amazing Anita Dobson. <laughs> darlings. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful time. It is a very great pleasure for me to be here this evening because I'm proud that I've been asked to present the award for outstanding achievement in a soap. Now, the recipient of this award I have known for a very long time. I first met her when she was 16 years old. I was just about to rehearse my very first scene in the soap. So naturally, I was a wee bit nervous, but I needn't have worried because there was a little tap on my shoulder and then a cheeky little face went, yeah, mum, I made you a cup of tea. <laughs> so I knew everything was going to be okay. Now, facts. She's been in over 2,000 episodes. <laughs> She's had 237 duff duffs. Yeah. And we all love a duff duff, don't we? And she's also been landlady of the Queen Vic six times. Amazing storylines. The death of her son, Denny. The, re yeah. the return from the grave of her father. Dirty Den. Don't get me started. And then the revelation of her affair with Phil Mitchell. Which brought in 23.5 million viewers. Yeah. Not bad, eh? She's quirky, funny, talented, glorious, glamorous, and iconic. And she is the winner of this year's award for Outstanding Achievement. I made such a mess in my life. So what are you messed up then? Where would I start? Okay, if there was one phrase that I could say to sum her up, it would be this. To know her is to love her. And Sharon Watts. Shouldn't you be on a lead? Shouldn't you have a muzzle? I've got eyes in me head, you know. Mm. And a nose in every corner. You just know that if you've got a day with Tish on set, you're going to have a giggle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Letitia Dean is very naughty. She's lots of fun. She makes the day go quicker. She's got a terrible twinkle in her eye. My first memories are when we had our auditions for EastEnders, 1984. Mum will like it. Yeah, of course she will. What do you think, Michelle? Oh, it's lovely. I think the fact that Tish has been here since the very beginning in this pub, she just runs through it like a kind of steel core. You could definitely say she's Dan and Angie's daughter. <laughs> she's Trump. Sharon Gate, don't underestimate just how many millions of people tuned in. I'll never forget that moment that it came out. Everybody was at home. Let's see what it is. Oh, in one minute, I was looking at him, and the next, ripping each other's clothes off. I mean, never go for brothers. Never go for brothers, Sharon. What were you thinking? Grump, please. And I always remember I had to slap her. And she said, oh, just go for it, Jilly. So I did. Kathy, nothing happened. Oh, you slut. With a red mark on her face and went, I didn't mean that much. <laughs> Hello, Phil. What can I get you? Landlady of the Vic, six times. 
Who's done it more than that? She puts her face on, she steps out behind that bar and she is that landlady. I mean, those sorts of scenes when Denny died and, and the grief and that she showed. I will never, ever love anyone like I love you. You have to dig deep for that and it really does take its toll on you as an actress. Oh, my baby! My baby! One minute you see Sharon, she, she looks very vulnerable and hurt and the next minute she becomes this powerhouse of a woman and she makes it look easy. That is testament to what she can do as an actress. That's another thing we haven't even talked about, is Tish Dean's legs. I mean, she gives Tina Turner a run for her money with him ease. But she never has a problem getting a guy, Sharon Watts. She's a lady. My personal favourite was Shianu. Sharon Keanu. Shianu. <laughs> Let's just say, I think Tishy loves these storylines. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, of course, hang on. Denny's dad, Dennis. Is he a stepbrother? What was he? They weren't blood. He was Den's son, wasn't he? But she was his adopted daughter. Well, still, messy. Thank you, and good night. Hello, princess. My dearest Tish, I've watched you over the years turned Sharon from a young girl into the icon that she is now and it's been just so amazingly brilliant to watch. If anyone deserves this award, it's you. I hope you know and realise how special you are. It's kind of overdue, but it's right on time. Congratulations, my darling. Please put your hands together for the one and only Letitia Dean. I love you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. It's really overwhelming. Um, you stay with me, Mummy. I'll see you for a while. <laughs> really overwhelming. I'm so touched. I love my job. I love my cast, my crew. Love our fans. <laughs> I love my mum. But seriously, it's been over, what, 30 odd years now since I started then. I got cast for my dirty laugh, if you remember. I do. And hopefully I'm still carrying that on. But um, I love you all so much, my lovely cast members as well, and all the crew. You all know who you are. And I lost my daddy a week ago, so this is for my daddy. I hope he's proud. And for my darling mummy, and I hope you enjoy your fish and chip. But seriously, thank you guys. I'm not very good at all this public speaking, but I do love you all, and thank you so much for the way you love me and look after me. So, thank you. They're still hugging over here, look, in the corner. Still hugging, still hugging, still hugging, still hugging. Love that.